Hey guys, happy International Women's Day. My name is Alexa Dorning and I work for LCA Vision. And I'm proud to say that I work with some of the most amazing, influential, intelligent women in this industry. And I'm really happy to be able to introduce one of our very own, Victoria Kessler here today. She is a leader in the finance world and certainly here at LCA Vision. Hello everyone, I'm Victoria Kessler. I'm the accounting manager here at LCA. If I would say if there's someone prominent in my life, someone that is um, a hero to me, I would definitely say it's my mom. My mom did things with, you know, very little and she made it look like we miss nothing. So definitely um, it would be my mom and, and my grandmother as well. They both were strong women. My grandmother, she was a nurse for a, a psychiatric hospital around. And my mom, she was like a supervisor in her job. But the strength that they show, like all the things that they had to endure, especially my grandmother um, growing up, um, becoming a nurse in, in her era. Um, so it, the strength that they showed made me say, hey, I want to be like my mom. And my mom always instilled in us, all of her girls, because it's four girls, um, she would say, always be independent. Always go in and look for what you need. Don't wait for someone to give you what you need. And she said, always be true to yourself. So, and I see that in my mom and her life even now. When I first started college, I was like, hey, I think I want to go and be a, a um, pharmacist. And then my parents was like, one wanted me to be a nurse. One wanted me to be a doctor. I'm like, okay, what do I want to be? So my first year of college, actually, I was still like undecisive, but I was taking classes for pharmaceuticals. So I was pushing towards pharmacy. However, I decided I'm like, hey, I think I know what I want to do. I want to go into business. I want to learn how business operate. What is the foundation of a business? How do you run a business? You know, I want to learn about stocks and bonds and investments and how I could make money. And so yeah. I decided to go into the business field. When I first started out, um, there were just a few women and so, like even in college, when I was in college and we were in the business college, there were, it seemed to have been more men in the classes than women. In the business field, it seemed like to always be males. And as I got out into out of college and I went into my career, that also follows suit, obviously. Um, there are challenges because I don't want to sound um, <laughs> I don't want to sound biased, but you know it's always, it's been some kind of stigma that women don't know how to run a business or women right. can't answer these questions. They can't be aggressive enough. They can't do this or they can't do that. But over time, it has now shown that women are very pivotal in a business. Um, she has ideas, she has thoughts, she has values that she can bring to the table. She has a whole new perspective that men don't have that is very valuable to a company that can help make a great decision for a company. I see the the women in position here. I see diversity here. Um, and so that's that's part of you can see the change that has happened from you know long ago, even before me. You definitely see this change that more women are in the workforce. All of the women on, on my team, on the accounting team, um, I admire them because they they go out and they push and they and they look and they want to do better. Like I have some that says, hey, how can I make this better? Or what do you need me to do? Because they want to learn in their anxious. And that inspires me to know that, hey, let me help them move ahead in their career. Let me pour into them because someone else poured into me. So I feel like that's my responsibility as well, is to pour into these young ladies so that they can someday be CEO, CFO, whatever it is they want to be. I always tell my nieces never to compromise who you are. Always stay true to who you are, your core values, you know, your morals, your respect, your dignity, all of that. It, it matters. Some advice I would give to other young ladies that's trying to get in the finance and accounting world or just in the business field altogether is to search, to look, to research, do your investigation. Um, don't wait for anyone to give you information. 
go get it. Over a period of time, as you start getting this information, you're building yourself, you're building your knowledge, you're building your skills, you're building um, good information that you can use and bring to the boardroom. So I will always say, don't wait for someone to give you something. Don't wait to be trained. Go train yourself. Go get that information you need. Study. Um, I still study even now here. Um, I stay late some nights getting more information in the industry. So I would definitely say the one thing you want to do is number one know that you want to do this know that what you're getting into investigate the field research the field and then don't wait for someone to give you something go out there and get it thank you <laughs> appreciate it thank you yep you're welcome